Hi, I'm Natasha Pellick. I'm tuning in here from YouTube Studios New York with New Realities Television. Henry and I decided to pull together some of the greatest people in New York to talk about Fly's Eye Technology, which is the most cutting edge platform to integrate virtual reality, holography, and 3D. I, I think we should just do a hologram interview. Yeah. With all three of you as holograms. That <laughs> you just like your light sculpture on camera? It's like a model. You like your avatar on camera? I haven't seen my avatar. I don't have an avatar yet. You must have one soon. I will. We definitely um, uh, pulled together a lot of uh, new ideas and um, this was very informative. Well, if there was a standing wave being projected from the ground but wasn't visible to the eye, but then could have things projected off of it, you know, like a a magnetic field that was, a, that, that was solidified once light was projected onto it. It sounds like a great fantasy. It is a good fantasy. Since I wasn't here for a lot of the interviews, Henry, did you think that it went pretty well with everyone? Yeah, I thought it went really well. Um, I had uh, it was a beautiful help of my friends for many years that came in and you know, did all phenomenal lighting and beautiful uh, camera work. Are you doing shutter or are you doing what's this shutter? And I was graced by having uh, Ray, uh, Sam Mori come in. We're not going to use it. Just, uh, just gonna the camera it. loves you, darling. The camera just okay. loves it. It seems like a lot of people talk a, a, they talk a big game about mm -hmm. programs. Yes. No one's really in, in action. Yeah. Uh, illuminated um, some of the things about uh, fly's eye photography that people didn't know about. And um, I thought it was great. To me, it was like, getting the experts together to d discuss these different perspectives of uh, a fly's eye as it plays into VR or any other of these different mediums. So do you think now that there, there's a, a more of a clear path for the future of fly's eye at this point? I do. Good, so that's kind of what needed to happen to kind of get everybody on the same page. So I hope that as, as time goes on we'll be able to take the different conversations and the pieces and also invite others into the conversation. We're going to be launching a website for Fly's Eye, developing the identity for it and we're going to continue on because right now the path that we're forging is to create more art, to create more science and technology in the Fly's Eye space as far as I, I can see, right? Yeah, that's great. We want more art and we want more science <laughs> and uh, we love both very much.